This your girl Keisha Armand and I'm back with the video. Today I'm doing a story time, okay? And as you can see, the title below, you already know what it's going to be about. Before we get started, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post. And make sure you follow me on all my social medias, on my Instagram and Snapchat, Keisha Armand, and on my TikTok, Keisha Armand 6. All right, let's get right into it. Okay, so this will be the story time about the time that Marlon had a bitch in my house let's get right into it i'm not even gonna do all that all right boom so like i said back in 2016 i had my first son me and marlon had a child together okay i already told y'all in the previous story time go back and watch that if you haven't watched it about the time that he had a girl come to the hospital so they can go mess around with each other after i just had our son go back and watch that this happened a couple of days after I got out the hospital, y'all. Okay, so I told y'all back in that story time that I had a C-section. So my apartment had steps in it. So um, I could not stay there for a couple of weeks or whatever until I healed up because the bathroom was upstairs and I could not go up and downstairs at the time. So me and my son went and stayed over at my mom's um, and Marlon stayed at the apartment or whatever. So you know things is going good we got a little system going or whatever he would come over to my mom's and he would come see us and stuff or whatever and sometimes we would go over to the house and sit but of course like i said since i couldn't go upstairs to use the bathroom it really wasn't a everyday thing like we didn't do that all the time so marlon would just come see us so one night um well i'm not gonna say night one day marlon and i were texting and we decided that we were gonna go ahead and hang out that day right it was just gonna be me and him my mom says she'll hold on to the baby or whatever. So it was just going to be me and Marlon that day. So we were going to meet up. I think we were going to meet up like, uh, I'm going to say like it was 7, 8 o'clock. We were planning on like getting together or something. We were going to cook or something and watch movies or something. Something basic, something minor. So um, he ends up texting me like 7.30 that night and was like, hey, um, let's not hang out the night i think i'm gonna go to bed early i'm tired this that and the third so that was a red flag number one for me because we've been together for a, a little bit about a year and a half or so and you never went to bed by no 7 30 8 o'clock marlon you never went to bed no 7 30 8 o'clock so i was like okay mm -hmm. okay i was like all right that's cool that's fine or whatever so my dad was like, hey, you might run into the store for me. I was like, sure. Perfect timing. Of course, I would love to run to the store for you. So, therefore, I hopped in my dad's car and I went to my apartment. I pulled up, right? The way I had my living room set up, right? So, um, you know, some most apartments have, like, the windows in the front or whatever. I had my TV across the... Um, across the living room or whatever so and my couch was in front of the window so the light is shining towards the window from the tv so i can see the silhouettes of anyone in my house so i'm outside i pulled up and i turned off the lights on the car so that he wouldn't know that out any there was a car pulling up or whatever trying to hurry up and you know be sneaky or whatever try to hide some shit so i turned the lights off on the car and then um i noticed two people getting up off the couch mr i'm sleep who's in my house so i go to the door and i didn't have my key he had my key because i only had one key so he had my key so i'm knocking on the door knocking on the door it's taking him forever to come to the door i'm not stupid i'm not stupid so he finally comes to the door and i look on the couch to the to my right or whatever i see clothes that are not mine and they're not his. They're a female's clothes. Okay. I see clothes. So I'm like, okay, I don't say anything about that. I don't say nothing. So I'm just walking around the house or whatever. He's like, what you doing here? Uh, what? 
it's my house i can i can come here whenever i want whenever i want to i can come so he's following me around the house i like, follow me here follow me there i'm like what is you doing i'm going upstairs he right on my heels behind me like what are you doing why are you following me around the house what are you doing so i'm like what is wrong with you like why are you following me around the house he's like what are you doing here like you know um you didn't say you were coming by this and the third i don't have to say when i'm coming by at my apartment i can come whenever i want so I made it like I was coming to get something for the baby. The baby needed something or whatever. Y'all, please excuse that. My two-year-old is running back and forth. So anyway, um, yeah, he's like, oh, uh, you know, what are you doing here? Whatever. And I'm like, you know, da, 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 whatever. So I end up asking him, like, Jared, like, where she at? Where she at? He like, who, who? Ain't nobody in here. Ain't nobody in here. Where she at, Marlon? Where she at? I'm not stupid. There's somebody up in here because you're being very, very weird. You're following me around the house. Who, Who is it? And where is she at? So he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. This, that, and the third, this, that, and the third. So my apartment's not that big. You can't hide nobody up in here. You just can't. I'm opening this door. I'm opening that door. I'm looking through here, looking through there. This, that, and the third. Mind you, I'm still in excruciating pain. I just got to the hospital, like, I don't know, like three days ago. Like, I just got out the hospital. So, I go to the closet door that's downstairs and I open it and, Lord and behold, it's a bitch. <laughs> it's a bitch sitting in my motherfucking closet, y'all. It's a bitch in my closet. I'm like, bitch, get the fuck up out my house. Get up out my house. So, she's like, you know, she don't want her problems to set in the third. He gets in the middle immediately because, of course, I'm not supposed to be fighting. I'm not supposed to be doing none of that. I could really, really hurt myself. But... My adrenaline is pumping because, like, what are you doing? Like, how can you be so disrespectful? How could you be so disrespectful and have a girl in my house? After after what we just went through a couple of days ago with you trying to have this bitch come to the hospital while I just had our son. Like, damn. Damn. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's just ridiculous. It was crazy. So, anyway, I'm going off. I'm going off. He's pushing me out the house or whatever. She grabs her stuff. And she ends up leaving, catching the bus or something, and going back wherever she came from, wherever she ends up leaving. I'm going off. I'm going off. I am whooping him, whooping him. And then I, and my dad is blowing up my phone because, of course, I was supposed to be going to the store for him. So he wondered where the fuck I'm at. But I'm pissed off. I'm mad. I'm hot. I don't know what to fucking do. Like, I'm, I'm really, I'm like really fucked up in the head about this one. So anyway, I end up having to get back in my car and take the car back to my dad. And he ends up following me or whatever, you know, doing what they do. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Please don't leave me. Yada, yada, yada. All that stuff like that or whatever. But I cut him off for a while after that. But, of course, we all have stupid stages. We all got dumb stages where we done for a duty. And that was mine. Um, and like I said, it was years ago or whatever. So, I am I am older now. I grew up. I've learned. But me and Marlon got a lot of stories. And, um. Uh, I got plenty more where that came from. But that's the end of this video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Because I got more and more and more videos for y'all. I got more everything. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. I got it. I got it right here. Right here on my channel. I love y'all. Peace.